Top 7 Best Outdoor Basketball 2023 Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use, we have got you covered. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 7. Spalding Replica Rounding out the seventh and final spot is the Spalding Replica Game Ball. This basketball simply didn't perform how I'd hoped on the tests. This in combination with the ball's dead feel and lackluster sound when it hits the ground caused it to be our last choice. The Spalding Replica performed near the bottom of each of the three tests. It did tie for second in air retention with 17 Psy lost. However, on the other two tests, it finished in the bottom half of the basketballs. I was able to palm this basketball for 14 seconds after many attempts. Not horrible, but not great comparatively speaking. The real issue for this basketball is in bounce responsiveness. When you drop this thing it sounds like a brick hitting pavement. The sound is matched by a lackluster bounce back. Last by a full 2 inches, the Spalding replica had an average bounce of 28 inches. My guess is that this is an issue with the bladder used on this basketball. Hopefully, Spalding will change to a higher quality bladder for this ball in the future. Number 6. Wilson Killer Crossover My least favorite basketball I tested. The Wilson Crossover just didn't suit me as a basketball player. Extra large with a super slick cover, the Wilson Killer Crossover is hard to handle for anyone with smaller hands. My issues with this basketball were demonstrated on the testing as this basketball finished last in the outdoor basketball category. During the air retention test, the Wilson Killer Crossover lost 17 sigh of air over the 24-hour testing period. This was tied for third place. Let's talk about grip for a second. This ball has none. I literally couldn't palm this basketball at all. After more failed attempts than I'd care to recall, I gave up and scored this ball as the least grippy basketball in the outdoor category. The Wilson Killer Crossover Basketball bounced an average of 34 inches over five trials. This performance was tied for second place. I will say that this basketball does have a consistent bounce when used. I know where it is going to be when I dribble with it. Number 5. Wilson NC Double A Replica Deep channeled and sufficiently cushioned, the Wilson NC Double A Replica Ball will appeal to a lot of readers. With third place finishes across the board, this ball has some distinct pros and cons. If you like deep channels and an emphasis on grip, you'll like this basketball. Air retention was an area that the Wilson NC Double A Replica struggled to meet expectations. It ended up finishing last on this test, having lost 18 psi over the 24 hours, the ball spent between beers and leftovers in my fridge. This is 18% more air loss compared to our top performers. I was able to palm the Wilson replica for 17 seconds. To be honest, I thought I'd be able to palm the NC double a replica for longer given the channel design. Still, this is a solid third place performance for the ball. In terms of bounce, the Wilson replica is a quality choice. With an average 31 inch bounce from our drop height, it offers good responsiveness. Number 4. Molten GM 7X While the first three basketballs have been similar in design, the Molten GM7X is something different entirely. Just looking at the ball and you can see Molten thinks about basketball design in a way most other basketball brands do not. Extra channels and a unique cover are just the beginning of what makes this ball stand out. As I've already mentioned most standard sized basketballs are slightly larger than the expected 29.5 inches in circumference. In the case of the Molten GM7X, it is exactly 29.5 inches in size. While a bit smaller than other indoor slash outdoor basketballs, the Molten GM7X was the heaviest basketball we tested in this category. It lost 17 psi after testing air retention, tying it for second place. For players focused on grip, the Molten GM7X is not the best choice. I was able to palm this basketball for only 12 seconds. This performance was good for sixth place, second to last. Bounce responsiveness was great for the GM7X. It took first place with an average bounce of 33 inches. I will say that I feel a noticeable spring to the bounce of the GM7X. It seems happy to return to your hand without feeling overly excited. Number 3. Spalding TF500 
Coming in third place of the indoor slash outdoor category, the Spalding TF500 does a lot of things well. A bit firmer and with a focus on feel, the Spalding TF500 is able to stand out on its own. A good all-around performer, it has a significant strength in air retention. Starting with size, the Spalding TF500 has a circumference of 29 and 5 8 inches. Surprisingly, this is a 1 8 inch smaller than the Zai Slash O. I'm not sure if Spalding did this on purpose or if this is simply due to imperfections in the manufacturing process. Weight for this basketball was 1 lobs and 4.8 ounces. Two other indoor slash outdoor basketballs weighed the same as the TF500, making this a common weight for the basketballs we tested. Moving on to performance, the TF500 tied for first in air retention. When set in my family fridge for a day, this ball lost only 15 sigh of air. Want a ball that can withstand temperature change? Then give this basketball a close look. For both the grip and bounce test, the Spalding TF500 found itself in the middle of the pack. In terms of grip, the TF500 took fourth place. I was able to grip this ball for a max length of 15 seconds after several trials. Based on this result, I'd recommend this basketball to players who are looking for a ball that has a good balance of grip and feel. Number 2. Under Armour 495. I'll be the first to admit it. I didn't think I'd be seeing an Under Armour basketball at the number 2 spot. But that's why I went through an objective testing process. Similar to the Spalding Z slash O, the Under Armour 495 performed well across the board. Its major strength was in the grip test, where it took the crown. Weaknesses included a slightly less responsive bounce. When looking at the testing, you can see that this basketball performed admirably in each category. During the 24-hour air retention test, the Under Armour 495 lost 17 psi. This is right in the middle of the pack for the basketballs we tested. To be honest, almost no one will notice the 0.2 psi difference between this basketball and the others that had the least air loss. Grip is where the UA 495 shined. Beating the second place basketball by a full 6 seconds, I was able to palm the UA 495 for 33 seconds. Because of this result, I recommend this to buyers who want an indoor slash outdoor basketball who highly value grip. For the bounce test, the Under Armour 495 basketball took fourth place. When dropped from 44, this basketball bounced an average of 30. To some this ball may feel a little bit of flat or dead side, but only slightly. If you are keen on finding a very responsible basketball, you may want to look elsewhere. Number 1. Mikasa BX1000 Mikasa is probably not the first brand when you think of basketballs. For the curious reading this, they do make every type of basketball from rubber to indoor composite leather. Their BX1000 was the ball we used for testing. Not really standing out in any way, I would look to some of our other options before deciding to pick up this ball. In terms of air retention, the Mikasa BX1000 finished in a tie for third place. It lost 17 psi of air during the testing phase. Grit was weak, and I was only able to palm this basketball for a maximum of 2 seconds. This was primarily caused by the slick cover of the Mikasa and its shallow channels. The BX1000 tied for second in the bounce test. This basketball bounced an average of 34 inches when dropped. So guys, that's all for Top 7 Best Outdoor Basketball 2023. The links of all products are given in the description which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video. Till then take care. Bye.